Penn State football survives Bowling Green in a game that was much more closer than expected. I was just telling people yesterday, Bowling Green is going to get their ass beat today. And that is not what happened. Shout out to Bowling Green, man. Very well coached team, well organized team, and a great program that I think will have a successful season in the MAC. Penn State's defense struggled very early on in this game and in parts in the second half. You know, Connor Basilak, man, he was he, he's got a lot of experience. Played three years at Mizzou, two years at Indiana, and he used that experience well, really carving up our defense. You know, they had a very good running back in Patterson. I thought he played very well. Penn State's defense struggled, but eventually they were able to get two INTs in the second half. Zaki Wheatley and Winston, you know, very good interceptions right there. Tony Rojas, my, my fault. It was Zaki Wheatley and Tony Rojas. Now that I remember that back now and doing this on the fly. The offense, Drew Hour looked very concise, very controlled through a, a lot of good passes. Had that terrible interception, though. Don't know what he was doing there in the right corner of the end zone there in the second half. Don't know what he was doing right before halftime, I believe, or early in the second half. But Nick Singleton and Catron Allen played well. Tyler Warren with a career day. Man, he is a monster. 6'6", 250 senior. Going to be a great NFL tight end. But hey, a win's a win, guys. Style points don't matter as long as you win. 2-0 and and out of here with no major injuries. That's the most important thing, in my opinion. Valuable lesson that Penn State needed to learn, you know, if, if, if they would have lost this game, that would have been terrible. But they won the game narrowly, and they can be 2-0 and still learn from this game. And a much-needed wake-up call. You can't just walk in here and beat these teams. They're not going to lay down and roll over for you to just go dominate them. Maybe a little bit overconfident after, you know, uh, the big win last week over uh, the Mountaineers. And they came in here thinking they were just going to walk all over them. Well, that, that's not going to happen this this year and in all the games going forward. you got to show up and play ball, and that's what PSU needs to do.